Okay, let's do some solving for y practice. When you're solving for y, you want to get the equation in y equals mx plus b form, slope-intercept form. So, given 2x minus 3y equals 24, how do we do this problem? Move the x over to the other side. That means he's positive, so subtract him. It cancels. Bring down the negative. Okay, on this side, be careful. This is not 22. Some of you like to write this in here instead of out over there because when I get to this next step, I'm going to bring both of these down. And I understand why you like him in here instead of out there. Because I'm going to write it mx and then my b. It's 24. It's positive. So I'm trying to get it in this form so that I know that this number will be b when I finish. So this is not m yet because it's not um, completely solved. This is not uh, B yet because it's not completely solved. So, the threes cancel. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. This positive divided by this negative is a negative. Now we officially have M. We officially have B. And this is called solving for y. I have my equation changed from standard form to slope intercept form. That's an E. Okay. Let's do another one. X plus Y equals zero. We need to move the X. There is a one there. So I am subtracting because this one is positive to the other side. Cancel. Y equals negative 1X. Some people like to write the plus 0. Okay, so now you see that M is negative 1, B is 0. This would be a direct variation equa uh, equation. But I want to see the answer like this because that's the way you're going to see it. And when there is no plus or minus after your slope and your x, you know or should know that b is 0. Let's do another one. Let's do paper. Okay. Negative 4x plus 5y equals 40. Please pause at any time so that you can um, try it yourself. Come back and see if what you did is correct. I'm going to add 4x to both sides. I have a habit of adding it after the number. I know you want to do it right here so that you physically see it. Sorry, guys. The bell's ringing. So that you physically see it in front of the 40. So I moved it over. Now, I canceled this out so that you understood that he is no longer on the left side. He is now on the right side. So 5y will now equal 4x plus 40. Divide by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5. Cancel, cancel. Y equals positive 4 over 5x. Plus 
8. There's my M, there's my B. Okay, let's do this one. 2y equals 8x minus 4. Some of you want to still move the x because that's what we've done in the last three examples or four examples. But the x is where it needs to be. And how do I know that? If I write this above what I'm trying to solve, I see everything is in its place but him. How do I get rid of him? You divide him off. And you're done. Let's do another one. We don't move the X because it's already where it needs to be. What do we do? We move the 5. And I know some of you are going to try and add him. But when you divide, you move exactly what you see. And I divided a negative on everything. So Y equals this will be rewritten like this. And I know you're probably wondering why. So I'm going to show you on the calculator. Home one. No, I don't want to save. Let's add a calculator. Let me show you. Put my fraction up. And let me put the 3 and then negative 5. So as you can see, it's 3 divided by negative 5. Negative's at the bottom. When I press enter, the calculator will move it to the top. So that happens, and that's the way it works. So for this one, this negative will move up, which means plus a negative or just minus one. Okay, one more. There are so many ways and so many problems to see why and how to solve for it. Hopefully this video will get the ball rolling for you. Uh, 2y that is negative will equal um, negative 7x minus 14. We are dividing by negative 2. That cancels. Y equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Negative divided, and this is minus, but we're treating it as a negative for the 14. Divided by a negative gives, gives us a positive. And it is solved for Y. Okay. If you have any other questions or need more practice, let me know. Good job.